Welcome to the F5 Networks Advanced Web Application Firewall demo series. In this demo, we'll show how to use Big IP Advanced Web to stabilize a security policy. The stabilization process encompasses both the learning and staging process. While entities, such as file types, URLs, and parameters, are still in staging and not yet enforced, the security policy is not yet stabilized. Before watching this demo, we recommend you watch Big IP Advanced WEF Demo 8, which covers building security policies using automatic policy building. Exercise 14, which covers learning and enforcement. And Exercise 17, which explains entity enforcement. This is Demo 33 of the AWEF Demo Series, and it's intended for advanced level Big IP Advanced WEF users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used for sending requests to build, and then stabilize, the existing security policy. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running Advanced WEF. The Big IP system already has an Advanced WEF security policy, used to protect the backend web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request before sending them to the backend web server. Through this process, Big IP Advanced WEF can update, and eventually stabilize, the web application security policy. We'll start by looking at the virtual server we're protecting. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. On the virtual server security, policies page, you can see that we already have a security policy attached to this virtual server named 29A, Stabilize, Security Policy. Next, we'll examine the current entity whitelists. On the Allowed File Types page, you can see that there are no configured file types yet. On the Allowed URLs page, there are also no configured URLs. And on the parameters list page, there aren't yet any configured parameters. This security policy was just recently created, and the learning process hasn't begun, as there hasn't yet been any user traffic directed to the web application. We're now going to use an IO macro in Firefox. This iMacro simulates several requests to the DVWA web application from a trusted workstation. The policy builder has learned several file types needed for this web application. Notice that all file types are still in staging. The policy builder has also learned several URLs needed for this web application. And all URLs are also in staging. The policy builder has also learned different parameters, or user input fields, used in the web application, and all parameters are still in staging. Also note that most parameters have a parameter value type of ignore value. This means that Big IP Advanced WEF will not yet block requests based on the values submit into these parameters. We'll select the name parameter. While a parameter has a type of ignore value, there are no other configurable attributes. We're now going to use the learning and blocking settings page to adjust the policy builder learning speeds. At the bottom of the page, we'll view the advanced settings and then expand the loose in policy section and then modify two values. We'll also modify the values in the Titan policy stabilize section.
in the minimize false positives track site changes section we'll first select only from trusted traffic and then modify this last value in case you're curious 0.0002 days is the equivalent of about 18 seconds by modifying these values we'll simulate policy building at a much more rapid rate these settings will only affect requests coming from trusted workstations which we already defined when we created this security policy. We'll now save and apply the policy. We'll now run the iMac row again in a new private window to simulate more user requests. On the parameters list page, we can see that the parameters now have a parameter value type of user input value. This attribute was modified by the automatic policy builder. Let's once again examine the name parameter. Now that the parameter value type has changed, there are configurable attributes. Notice that this parameter has a data type value of alphanumeric. Also notice that the maximum length has been set to 10. This isn't long enough for this parameter, so we'll wait for more traffic from the trusted workstation. Let's examine the value meta characters tab. By default, certain keyboard characters are disallowed in user input value parameters. However, some of these disallowed keyboard characters should be allowed to be input by users into this parameter, so we'll wait for more traffic from the trusted workstation. We'll run the iMacro once more. and then we'll reload the parameters list page. Some parameters are no longer in staging, which means their attributes will be enforced by Big IP Advanced WEF. Notice that the name parameter now has a maximum length value of 500, which is a sufficient length for this parameter. This change was made based on the length of the values that were submit using the I macro. Four meta characters have been added as allowed characters for this parameter. Again, this was based on the values that were submit using the I macro. We'll now examine the big IP advanced WEF ordered log. This log file displays all the changes made to a security policy, either by an administrator or the policy builder. We can use this option to filter the log. For example, we can see all additions and updates for every parameter made by the policy builder or an administrator. We can select to view log entries for a specific parameter. We can see exactly when the name parameter was first added, then when several updates were made including increasing the maximum length and adding meta characters. We'll run the iMac row again.
All file types are now enforced. The file type list is now stabilized. All URLs are now enforced. The URL list is also now stabilized. And finally, all parameters are now enforced. The parameter list is now stabilized. The name parameters maximum length value is still 500. The policy builder has determined this to be the correct maximum length for this parameter. Notice that several meta characters are still not allowed in the parameter, including the double quotes, the dollar sign, the percent sign, the ampersand, and the single quote. On the attack signatures tab, you can see that there are nearly 1000 parameter level attack signatures being checked for this parameter. Now, let's see what happens when a request is submit that violates a parameter's current attributes. We'll log in as a non-malicious user. The field on this page is the name parameter. The user will submit this long request into the field, which is over 500 characters, and contains several keyboard characters that are currently disallowed. The request is blocked, because it violates the current attributes of the parameter. Let's reload the parameters list page. Notice that the name parameter is once again in staging, and not being enforced. This is because the policy builder identified new attributes for this parameter, and therefore put it back into staging. Now that the parameter is back in staging, Big IP Advanced WEF will allow requests that violate its current attributes. Notice that the name parameter's maximum length value has now been increased to 1000. Several new meta characters have been added to the allowed list for this parameter. Let's reload the audit log for the name parameter. Notice that the policy builder first re enabled staging, then increased the maximum length to 1000 and added the additional meta characters. Let's log in as the same user. And then try to submit the long request again. This time the request is allowed because the policy builder has now modified the attributes of the name parameter. Notice that the name parameter is still in staging. The policy builder needs more traffic before enforcing the parameter. We're now going to use a second I macro, which simulates entering the same long text string with the special meta characters. Notice the name parameter is once again out of staging and enforced. Big IP Advanced WEF will now enforce its maximum length, allowed meta characters, and attack signature attributes. Now that the security policy is stabilized, We'll use the Security Policy Properties page to disable any new policy learning. We'll now test the security policy by logging in as a malicious user. This user is maliciously attempting to submit an entry longer than this parameter's maximum length value. And it's blocked by the Big IP Advanced WEF security policy.
they're now maliciously attempting to enter two characters that aren't allowed for this parameter. Which is also blocked by Big IP Advanced WEF. They now attempt to submit an encoded cross-site scripting attack. Which is also blocked by Advanced WEF. Let's examine these blocked requests using the Big IP Advanced WEF event log. We'll first choose the filter option to view only blocked log entries. This request was blocked because it violated the query string length and the parameter length. The name parameter expects a maximum length of 1000, and this request was for 1004 characters. The name parameter does not allow the left or right bracket keyboard characters. Even though the malicious user attempted to encode the attack, Big IP Advanced Ref decoded the request and identified several attack signatures present within the request. You can see the actual decoded attack displayed in the decoded request section. Thank you for watching this demonstration on using F5 Big IP Advanced WEF to stabilize security policies. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos, and for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Networks sales account manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.